is the business process. And now from this data model, I'd like to navigate and drill down all the way to the top child to the top parent diagram to go from this uh, data model, the sales processing system data model, to the top diagram showing again the 50,000 foot view of the organization and um, showing this Acme Corporate Enterprise Direction Diagram. So from here at the top level Enterprise Direction Diagram, I'd like to show a drill down from the organization, the organizational breakdown to the infrastructure. So we'd like to show um, the logical infrastructure and physical infrastructure for Acme Corporate. In particular, we'll show uh, the Detroit location. So here navigating down to the child diagram, I can create relationships between Acme Corporate and the office locations. So let's see the first the office locations. We see the office locations spanned across the US. And here in particular is the Acme Detroit location. Selecting Acme Detroit and navigating down to that child to look at Acme Detroit. Here I have Acme Detroit organizational units, um, and we see not only the organizational units, but also the, dr the drill down and the hierarchy of the roles within Acme Detroit. So we have the geography manager at the top, regional sales, uh, telesales, HR, IT, and marketing. Uh, looking at that drill down for the roles, the hierarchical breakdown of the roles within Acme Detroit. Um, now navigate to the child diagram. Looking at the child diagram here, we're looking at the Acme Detroit, uh, not only the organizational unit, but uh, looking at the Detroit Backbone Network. So looking at um, the Detroit back Backbone Network, we can look at this diagram showing uh, the switch, for example, and the, back the Backbone routers. So this is particularly for Acme Detroit, where we see their internet, we see their firewalls and their routers. And this particular type of diagram is called the Network Concept Diagram. And this network concept diagram allows you to view the details of the hardware infrastructure uh, layout for Acme Detroit. So here we see a switch called SWIF001. Navigating down that switch to the child diagram, we can open up a child diagram to navigate from the switch to the Detroit network architecture uh, showing this, this, the particular switch and how it's related to physical servers. So here's the SWIF001 uh, for that switch and looking at the details um, connecting it to the servers, the physical servers at the bottom. So this type of Acme Detroit infrastructure diagram shows routers, switches, and the servers. So here I can select a server so here I'll select this BAN S02 server and uh, look at the details of that server. Double clicking on that server, here I see the details of the property details of that server. Here I can see the configuration of the server, such as how much memory is supported and installed on the server, what's the in-service state, the processor type, description, here I can fill in details for the host operating system, uh, etc. And looking at applications, I can look which, at which applications are physically supported on this server. So here I have the installed applications on this server. Uh, looking at those applications. So let's go and create uh, another relationship from the application that we imported from Excel to be posted on this server. So again, we'll just use the matrix browser, looking at the details of the matrix browser. Here I'll look at the um, matrix report called installed software, showing relationships between applications and servers. 
So for that server, van S02, we want to take that server and just say that the customer account lookup is an application that's hosted on that server. Okay, so here we'll take that um, the relationship to van S02. And making that relationship propagates the relationship throughout the repository. So we created the relationship. And now closing that, we can now look at um, that relationship in the property details under applications hosted on um, the applications hosted on this server. And one is the customer account lookup. So now let's and again, this um, is a network concept diagram allowing you to create the infrastructure model. Uh, under tools, you'll see all of the symbols as legal symbols for this type of diagram where you can select a server. Uh, and for a server, we have different stereotypes. So uh, for a server, you may have a web server, an application server, a data server, and you can differentiate those with different graphical representations. And those graphical representations are either with the globe uh, showing a web server here on the left, or to the right we see a database server with a database next to the server. So here I could create a new server. Um, so I'll give it a name. Let's call it new server one. And that creates a server in the repository and adds it onto the model. So that's how we create a new uh, server using the model.